Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about women and tech. So grab a good drink because we're gonna spill the tea. Okay, let's start with the first controversial topic being that everyone or not everyone but most of the organizations we're there which are there for people in tech are mostly there for women in tech. I understand that there is a lack of women in tech. I think we should encourage everyone to think about their career in tech. Just start from a young age, start to introduce them to tech. That is, for example, the reason why I want to introduce my future child into tech as soon as possible. I'm not gonna be the one who's gonna try to push him away from tech because that's the direction we're going for. And I don't want him to be behind just because I'm telling him not to use tech. But anyway, so we're trying to have more women in tech. That is great. That is beautiful. But something has to change in order for women to feel well in tech. I went into tech knowing nothing about coding, but I was just super passionate about everything and I really wanted to know how everything works. I wanted to be able to code my own app one day and I was super excited and everything and then I just went into uni and I know it's a few years back but I just felt so like uninvited. Honestly I wasn't able to find any friends in, in girls because each girl was surrounded by so many boys it was just so funny <laughs> like a girl was walking to the cafeteria and just a circle of boys was around her and we obviously know what the boys wanted or probably what they wanted um, but anyway, I just couldn't find friends and girls and they were really mean that they, they were really mean like they were talking behind my backs They were saying like you did not write the code I was hearing from other friends that this girl is talking trash about me and this girl is Thinking that I didn't write the code myself because I'm surrounded by boys even though she's also surrounded by boys because that's the way it was and as a girl in tech, I think that you're always taking advantage of boys. I think you simply are because they're there. They obviously want to have girls around because otherwise it would be just boys. So they cherish you. They do everything for you. They try to help you and you take advantage of that. But I think you're giving them also something from your personality. Like being around a woman is different than being just around men. So I think that it's mutual, like they are helping you, but you're also giving them something else they don't have otherwise. It does not have to be mutual sympathy. So it's great that we want women in tech, but we have to create the right environment. For example, when I was having a subject, I don't want to talk about who it was with because then people are able to match it and find the people I'm talking about and that's not my intention. But anyway, I had a subject on something and it involved coding a lot. We had to be in teams of two. I didn't have a lot of friends who were girls, so I basically only had like one friend. And this friend was coming from the secondary grammar school and we both decided to go and study informatics, go and study uh, computer science. So yeah, and she wasn't in this lab with me. So I've decided to be in a group with my friend and he was such a good coder. Like he was probably the best coder there was in the entire grade. So of course it was suspicious, but when it got bad was at the end of the subject when the projects were all, all done and we had to basically present them. But you weren't like presenting them in front of the whole group, but the lab supervisor was basically going from one team to the other and he was asking them questions about the design, etc and then he came to us and what was different was that he was asking me a bunch of coding questions like he was like okay go to this file to this line and explain why you wrote it this way and that was weird because he didn't ask this any other team and we was we were actually far at the back so we were almost the last ones to present our project so that was so so weird and even though I was able to answer all of his questions, I just felt so humiliated, honestly. I just felt so bad. And not because I haven't written the code, because I have, but because he basically thought that the comments were faked. Like he didn't say it, but that was like what was coming out of him, basically. I just had a really, really bad time. So when the lab ended, I actually almost had tears in my eyes, like almost. I didn't cry, but I was on the edge of crying, just 
because I felt so bad and because I felt like I was treated so bad. In the end, we got a good grade for the project. And basically after the lab ended, he sent me a request on LinkedIn and there was never anything coming from his side telling that I didn't write the code or anything. I just, he just wanted to make sure that I have really written the code. And as time passes, I kind of understand him because I know that so many girls were taking advantage of their friends being boys and that probably something like this is really happening. But I mean, it just... It just felt so bad. It just felt so wrong because you don't ask these questions, the boys. Why are you asking the questions, the girls, you know? It's just, again, telling us that as girls, we have to push even more because boys just get into the field and it's all for them. But when girls get into the field, they constantly have to prove that they're worthy, that they can solve complex problems. And the same goes if you're being a girl who's trying to motivate people to join tech on the internet as I am because again you cannot dress a certain way because people are gonna say like your cleavage is showing like what are you trying to show us but I'm not trying to show you anything I'm just trying to feel good about myself and I work out I feel confident about myself and I just want to wear what I want I'm not gonna be covered in a turtleneck on a hot summer day just because you don't accept me. So if girls are taking care of themselves, if they're wearing makeup, if they're wearing different than comfy clothes, for example, dresses and skirts, then suddenly everyone is like, why are you doing this? Why are you wearing this? Like, what are you trying to say? Like, you're not a coder because you're wearing a dress. You're not a coder because you're wearing a skirt. And I'm like, what does my clothing say about who I am. It does say something about my personality, but this says absolutely nothing about my coding skills. So anyway, being a girl in tech comes with a lot of hurdles, but it also comes with a lot of help from friends who are guys because they are there for you. They want to help you. Then they want to make you feel good about yourself. Some guys don't, but a lot of guys do. But I think that the worst thing that is there are the girls. Like girls to girls can be just so mean, especially in tech. So that's just something to think about. Like think about yourself. Think about how you can motivate other people to become better. Because it's not a race of who's the best coder or who's the most prettiest girl in tech. All it's about is about feeling happy about yourself feeling confident in your body and just don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So if you're a girl watching this, just be supportive to other girls, be there for them, try to help them, try to make them feel good about themselves. And if you're a guy watching this, just also think about being nice to girls, trying to help them, trying to make them feel good about themselves, trying to make them feel worthy, tell them how good they did how well they solved something. I just don't ever let them feel like they don't belong somewhere. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And if you like my content, I would be so happy if you would support me and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.